thinking of the subway started for me a little after 9-11. I was living in New York at the time and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to connect with people somehow and I could sing and I was like, why don't I just go play in the subway? I did that and it was an amazing experience. I remember the first day that I went down and I set up, I was really nervous. But I just started singing and listening to my voice echo off of the walls of the subway, like in between when the trains would arrive and leave. And everyone would just sort of gravitate over and like drift over and start listening. People really liked it. I had my little guitar case open in front of me and people would stop by and listen and, and give me tips. I even got a hundred once, a hundred dollar bill. I was alone playing guitar, playing by myself. I would like walk around and I'd see other people playing in the subway, a solo drummer or a bass player or whatever, and I'd just go up and talk to them and then I put together a little band and it was sort of like a, a subway band because they were all people that played in the subway. Sometimes I'd go out in the morning and play, like for morning rush hour, and there were a lot of people. There were a lot of spots that were like the spots to play at. 34th Street, Grand Central Station, 14th Street Union Square, which is, was my favorite spot to play because it was a park right upstairs and people were sort of chill there. Times Square was really good because it's a big spot, you get a lot of people. So you know, I met a lot of people playing down there, a lot of great opportunities. Playing in the subway, it has its own flow that you start to get to learn. 